Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. Today is Wednesday, the 7th of March. This is my daily snapshot and example of one of our stock signals. Uh, today I'm going for shorts and I'm going for a six minute time frame, something different. Yesterday I looked at uh, longer uh, weekly time frames. Today I'm going to go for shorts. So our members simply log into our area, click on either long or short trades and download the spreadsheet for the day. So let's have a quick look at the spreadsheet. So as you can see on the shorts here on the 60 minute time frame, we do weekly, daily and 60 minute. There's lots of potential opportunities here. So I've chosen uh, just one of them just to uh, have an example. I've looked at LB, L Brands, because that's recently had earnings. So let's have a look at the 60 minute chart. So this is the 60 minute chart on LB, uh, potential short. So first of all, let's just talk about the filters that come with the signals for the spreadsheet each day. Uh, first is the 535 oscillator. This is pulled back between 90 and 140%, which is good. The stochastic is in the overbought zone because we're looking for a short. And our wave four has pulled back into our probability zones. These are our automated probability zones. And the amber zone where the wave force found resistance currently is our 80% probability zone. It's going to go on and make a new wave five low into our automated target zones here. So this is the Ninja Trader version of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. We do offer Think or Swim, Trade Station and Multi-Chart versions. So let's go ahead and see uh, why this particular trade looked pretty good. So if we just zoom out a little bit here, we can see this range bound period leading up to earnings. Um, so there was no real trend there. And, and what the wave five trade strategy looks for is a trend, really. Um, we could say now that we are in a shorter term trend after the gap down for the earnings reaction. It then made a new low and then pulled back up and is almost around about the same sort of high after the gap uh, down there for earnings. So earnings wasn't too good. Propensity is to go short here. We're looking for a short setup. The, for those that have the indicator suite already, you can't really start the wave count anywhere in this um, range bound period because it's not a trend. So you need to start it at this, uh, around about this high here before it comes down on the wave one the wave two, then with the gap down and the further move down is the wave three, and then you get the wave four into the pullback zone. So let's look at possible entries here. So the markets are very volatile at the moment, so we've got to be quite conservative with entry here. So let's just zoom in a little bit here. So we have a great risk to reward here while still being conservative on our entry. So our stop loss is above the wave four high here. We've got a nice uh, doji candle and then the, the last uh, hour of last night was red. So, But we need more confirmation of that. The stop loss is just above the wave four high there. So about 45.60 is the stop loss. Now the entry, our normal entry strategy is below this 6.4 moving average low, the red moving average low here. Now this would be quite aggressive um, for today, especially as the markets are very reactive to news um, regarding Trump and all the things that are happening there at the moment. So we just want to make sure that this is going back in this main short term bearish trend since earnings. So I wanted to go short below this support level here where the cursor is here. Just want to make sure that we are um, below there. So and also above the whole, whole $44 mark. So I'm going to go short at 43.95, which is way outside the 6-4 moving average for the first bar position uh, of today's session. It's also below this support level here. But it still gives us a great risk reward of one to two into our automated target zones here at 4050. So really, really good trade setup there. Had bad earnings, had that gap down, recovered a little bit. Looks like it's in a good resistance area now. If it does start to move down and move below $44, that's a good short, good high probability fifth wave short. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.